here's a chat GPT plugin that you'll actually be able to use in your day to day, kind of regardless of what type of role you're in. So stick around. I'm going to tell you what this is. So my name's Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI and welcome to our Everyday AI 12 days of plugins, where for 12 days, we're going to tell you uh, and teach you how to use 12 different chat GPT plugins that will help you grow your business and grow your career. So uh, if you don't know anything about Everyday AI, well, let me just tell you real quick. So like I said, my name's Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping people learn and leverage AI. So let's see how we can create something amazing like this inside of chat to GPT. So I'm going to create a new chat here and you're going to need to make sure that you are in plugins mode. So you need a paid $20 a month chat GPT plus account. And then you need to have this AI diagrams plugin installed. So this is from whimsical. So you just go in here and you're going to type in AI diagrams and you're going to click install. Mine is already installed. So we don't have to worry about that. And then when you start a new chat, you need to make sure that it is enabled. So you just check it on and it's enabled. So here's what we're going to start with. We are going to uh, say, we're going to just ask for five examples. We like to do this live, so we're going to try to go through this kind of quickly. The best thing to do when using a new plugin is to ask it what it can do. So I'm saying, what can the AI diagrams plugin to also, uh, plugins do? Also, please give me five short and specific use cases for it for everyday business operations, because that's what we're really trying to do here. We're trying to say, how can we use uh, the features of this plugin to make our jobs easier, to help grow our companies and to grow our careers? So another thing to keep in mind is, especially since uh, in mid-November, ChatGPT released some monster updates, um, and they've had some problems scaling their server. So uh, as you can see right now, this already timed out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just refresh this chat. We're going to have to, uh, unfortunately, it looks like, uh, reinstall these uh, or, or re-enable these plugins. Uh, again, this is, it's not normally like this. Uh, I promise with chat, G, chat GPT plugins, uh, they, it's just been a little buggy for the last couple of weeks, but normally, uh, this is much, much faster. So let me just go into this chat that I already did and we'll just kind of start over. So I actually did a whole episode on this before. So uh, we are having some issues with plugins, um, but we're still going to see because even though it says no plugins installed, I think it's actually a bug. Those plugins are currently installed on this chat. So let's just give it a try. Um, and I'm going to read this. Don't worry, but I'm going to get started on the next prompt um, and then tell you exactly what we're doing and what this uh, AI, diagramming, uh, AI diagrams plugin can do. All right. So here is what the AI diagrams plugin can do. So it can create a lot of different types of diagrams, but here's three examples. So flow charts, mind maps, sequence, di sequence diagrams, et cetera. And then here's uh, kind of five use cases that ChatGPT gave for this, uh, for this plugin. So process improvement, team collaboration, customer journey mapping, software development planning, strategic planning. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So. Uh, what I'm doing right now in this uh, prompt. So I said, I'm doing two different things. So yes, I did have the web reader plugin installed. I believe it is installed. It's just not showing up right now. Uh, this chat is being a little finicky, but I'm saying using the web reader plugin, please carefully analyze this announcement from Mars Candy. So I sent this URL and I said, hey, see what's up with this new announcement from Mars Candy. They announced this purple character. This was a year ago, but I'm just saying as an example, maybe you work at Mars. Maybe you do marketing or UI UX for Mars, right? Um, and maybe you want some ideas. So what I did is I said, please use the web reader plugin to analyze this URL. Then I said, using the AI diagrams plugin, create a mind map of a marketing plan on how to increase visibility around the new character, right? You might work on this on your own. You might go into a brainstorming session with a team of four, five, 10 people, right? But what if you just gave ChatGPT the information it needed through a web browsing plugin, and then also said, use this diagramming plugin and just throw together a mind map for me, right? For, for a marketing plan. So we go down here and look at this. This is insane. So I can click and view this. And just like that, within the whimsical AI diagramming plugin, look at this. 
we, we have brand messaging and then we have, you know, different things we can do in brand messaging, digital marketing. It's, it's broken down into sub like subcategories on the third tier, traditional media, promotional events, merchandising. Right. And then the great thing is you can go in here and you can edit it as well. Right. So maybe, uh, you know, this, this is, uh, you know, using, uh, traditional marketing, whatever. Right. So you can update this save it and share it with your team. So what a great way to take some information. And I did it with just one link, but imagine sending, you know, five different links or a PDF or a presentation to chat GPT, having it, analyzing it and having it make you a marketing plan for something. That's amazing. And it did it in a matter of seconds. All right, let's look at one more quick example of something else we can do. So I'm going to go ahead, stick the prompt in and then say exactly uh, what we're doing. So let's say as an example, you work for a big company and you help uh, create policies or onboarding plans for new employees. So in this example, what I'm doing is uh, I'm telling ChatGPT again, we have two different plugins enabled. We have the web reader plugin, which I did a full review on, and then the AI diagrams plugin. So essentially what I'm saying is using the web, re using the web reader plugin, please carefully analyze this job position. So what this job position is, it's for a sales manager at a big company called LRS. They actually, uh, you know, pick up half the garage uh, or, or half of the garbage uh, on my street, right? So this is a full job description for a sales manager um, at this company, LRS. So maybe one thing that you do is you help create, um, you know, within your HR department, maybe you create customized onboarding plans uh, for new employees as an example, right? So what I did is I gave ChatGPT access to this via the web reader plugin. And then I said, using the AI diagramings plugins, please create a process map for what a new employee onboarding should look like for this employee. Now, if I worked at LRS, I would probably have an example of this. So not only would I give the URL for a job, uh, for a job description, but I would also put in an example of this as well, and then have it create a new one, right? This in theory can automate what you know 70 to 80 percent of what this process looks like so much of knowledge work is is taking uh, a, an existing document for a new position or updating it to a new law a new policy a new regulation uh, and you can just do that all automatically inside of chat gpt it's probably already done Yes, it already is. So here we go. Here is the onboarding. So it's a welcome and introduction, company or overview, sales strategy, techniques, etc. So pretty, pretty in depth here. And you can obviously go in here, uh, click this, or if I wanted to, you know, I can even just go up here. Let's just do it since we're here. Um, I'm gonna say, um, please, please make this as detailed as possible, including. Uh, categories of learning, uh, setting KPIs, working with other departments, et cetera. So, right. So one thing people don't know is you can always, if you don't like an answer that chat GPT gives you, you can always go up and, uh, you can click like a refresh or redo button, or you can click like what I did, click on the edit button, go add some additional information. So whether you're using this diagramming plugin or anything else, if you're getting an output that's not great, um, I, you, you can just go ahead and edit it, put in more details to make it a little bit better. But uh, also keep it, keep in mind that uh, if you do that, anything below will kind of get deleted. So keep that in mind. You should really only do that with your last chat or what is at the very bottom of the screen. Uh, so keep that in mind. But I saw that onboarding. I said, okay, it's okay. It's a little general. So I edited the prompt a little bit to try to get a little bit more uh, specific. So let's, uh, let's scroll down and see how it, see how this one's going. All right. And again, we'll, uh, we'll let this go here for, all right, it's done already. I was going to keep talking about the different features and functions, but that was pretty quick. So let's take a look at this, uh, new employee onboarding process map for a sales manager position. So again, this would turn out much better if I had an example of an onboarding map for someone else at this company, it would be a lot quicker, but here we go. This is a pretty good, uh, onboarding map. It's much better than the last one. So, you know, you go through, you have a welcome and introduction, HR orientation, then it splits off. You talk about company policies and culture. You talk about role specific training, health and safety protocols, etc. So this one's much better. And again, the good thing about this plugin and with chat GPT is you can go in and edit this, or I can, uh, edit this diagram in whimsical, right? So I can go in here and change any part of it 
uh, and, and then send it to my team and we can work and fill this in together. And then the great thing is if I had more information on this company, right, I could go in and take each individual one of these, each one of these, uh, different, um, things, right? Like mentorship program. And I would say, Hey, here's a document on our mentorship program, create the outline for, you know, this one hour session or to tell chat GPT that, Hey, all of these are one hour sessions you know, here's more company documents. Now start planning out each and every one of those, those sessions. So, uh, I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to your sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another 12 days of plugins. Thanks y'all.